Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this morning with a scripture reading on this Wednesday from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 through 14. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But fornication and impurity of any kind, or greed, must not even be mentioned among you, as is proper among saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly, and vulgar talk, but instead, let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no fornicator or impure person, or one who is greedy, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be associated with them. For once you are darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what such people do secretly, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Sleep or awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Now for our prayer together, if you will, please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we offer our prayers today for the needs of others and we commit ourselves to serving them. We especially pray for those people who are sick, hungry, lonely, or poor, for the ones closest to us in the cities and neighborhoods where we live, for those afar in other countries, for peace and fairness for all people, for all God's creatures, for clean air, water, and soil, and for the work of the whole church to show and tell the good news of your Son, Jesus Christ. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning. I hope you all have a great Wednesday today.